<laughs> inspiring, unbelievable yeah, stuff. So let's continue on that trend. Here's to another success story. This time of a woman by the name of Nontlantla Gomere, who is changing the landscape of farming in KwaZulu-Natal. So she's the director of the KwaZulu-Natal-based Utanumvelo Farm, who walked away from a thriving career working at a major financial services company in 2011 to join her family struggling sugarcane farming business. Now fast forward to today and she has already doubled output and helps to feed 1.3 million school children. Wow. Let's find out what her story is. I am so excited to meet with one of South Africa's successful black women farm owners, Nontlanta Kumete Shabalala. Now she's the proud owner of this beautiful farm called Utandi Velo Farm in KZN. Her story in the farming business dates back to 2010 when she joined her father's 90.3 hectare farm. But unfortunately, things were not going so well for her father back in the day, but she managed to help turn business around for him. And in 2017, she bought her own farm called Utandim Velo Farm. I am here on Nontanta's farm right now. Cannot wait to hear her story. Hi, Sis Nontanta. Hi, Kunjani. I'm fine, thank you. And you? So good. Thank you so much for allowing us on your farm. Your story is so inspirational and one that everyone needs to hear about. You studied financial management. Yes. And you left your but in career in finance to pursue a career in farming. Yes, that's correct. Can you please tell us more about this change? You know, when I was working at the bank, I it wasn't for me wearing heels and wearing <laughs> short skirts and wearing those weaves. It wasn't for me. But mm. mostly I could I will see my dad working his farm mm. and I thought, you know what, that that's me. Mm. That's me. So I decided, you know what? Let me just go back and work with my dad because I could see he was working his own farm and I really liked it. Mm -hmm. So it's motivated me to see him working that hard and I thought let me just come back and work with him. I love that so much. Now you mentioned your dad. You joined his farm in 2010 because the drought hit and I believe that's one of the motivations why you decided to help him and you managed to turn things around for him. But it wasn't so easy for you because you had to start from the ground, right? When I could see that there was drought in 2010, I was still working far, mm -hmm. but I could see he was suffering a lot because he used to complain every day because he couldn't even do his estimates. Mm -hmm. He couldn't even submit, even his administration was up and down. So I thought, you know what, because of the salary that he's promising me, I thought, let me come back and assist him. So yeah, you know, I started from being a general worker. Mm -hmm. I was, you know, when the staff was hand weaving, I used to come in and hand weed. I used to do trash management. I used to, but I couldn't cut cane, but I used to measure for them how many times do they, they were cutting each and every day. In terms of our suburb, go to me in Arataba and Guam later seven the Conan Yucasella, go to Gabuels or by party a plaza mob, and Carol go to Mass and Cook, I mean, and Zubana in Ganegazi of seven in the Bay Plaza. So in Ganin Zamzok and Anita to Watanda, not to Goza, some nigging Dao. And then we had the hectares of plus later a case any such as in the challenge in the one and go ten hectares in the ten may challenge down ten hectares or was a cupola it tiny tiny jay to is a five thousand tiny so four thousand my own dawai challenge now fast forward in 2017 you bought your own farm utandi velo farm that's big, that's a big move. What, how much has it taken from you to run your own farming business? You know, it's, it's been a journey, it's been wonderful. I, I bought this farm in 2017 yeah. with my dad's assistance, obviously. And what valuable lessons would you say you've learned so far in this journey? You know, I've learned that uh, working your own farm, it's not easy. Mm. You need to put your mind into it, you need to focus, you need to be determined, mm. or else it won't work out. Mm. Nontanta Kumete currently employs 10 permanent staff members and 14 seasonal workers on her Utandim Velo farm. She believes that the sugar industry plays an important role in helping local governments deal with the challenges of unemployment, subsequently hopes to encourage more young women in pursuing a future in agriculture. I studied agriculture 
I've been on the farm for a few months. It's been exciting. I learned a lot of things with my sister. And hopefully I'll be having my own farm in the future whereby I've started now. I supply veggies for a school feeding program and I hope that grows. Sis so Nontanta, above and beyond the sugarcane business that you're running, you also provide vegetables to local markets. Can you please tell us more about that? Yes, I'm supplying vegetables, six types of vegetables, cabbages, onion, tomatoes, beetroot. We supply local supermarkets and I'm also partnered with KZN Department of Education to feed over 1.1 million school children. So Sis Nontanta, what words of motivation would you give to women who want to pursue a career in farming? I'd say, ladies, let's come in. Hard work, focus, determination, we'll make it. We can definitely make it. I'm <laughs> taking my inspiration from Mrs. Nontanta Gomede. And she's very humble, by the way, because the <laughs> things that she does with this place is incredible. Take her word for it and run with it. And yes, you see why I'm wearing a flip-flops, a farm and a dress. <laughs> Nontanta admits that the road hasn't been easy, but it's a road worth taking. It's a road that's allowed her to learn, grow, and to push for even more. She's helping to change the landscape, and we certainly hope that she continues to do that with many other youths and workers through employment as she continues her journey.